Hey everyone, it's George here, checking in from Miami, Florida. Hope you're home safe and continuing to practice social <clears throat> distancing guidelines while we sort this through this uh, pandemic. Um, as many of you know, or I'm not sure how many do know, but on March 20th, my office decided to officially, a month ago, officially close its office here in uh, Doral, Florida, where I'm based. And we've been closed uh, now for a month. On the 26th of March, the company decided to close all uh, New York, or rather all uh, New York Life offices um, in anticipation of uh, what was coming and uh, took a, a proactive measure. There have been uh, many changes made throughout uh, the month, both to uh, assist our clients and to assist um, our staff and fellow agents in this unprecedented um, time. But uh, unfortunately for me, I'm used to working remotely. Uh, that really happened after 9-11. And so this wasn't that much of a transition for me. So I've fared well, I've been very busy. Uh, may not have been the same for some of our staff who were maybe used to working from an office. So we've all had to adjust to some level of isolation and just changing the way we do things from uh, pre-COVID pandemic situations. The purpose of this video <clears throat> is one to check in and give an update on how you know things have been going. I uh, figured this would be a good time to check in on the 30th day as a starting point. And um, the other reason is getting to one of my projects, which was doing videos of this nature, to talk about what, you, what I do, which is financial services. Um, again, many of you know that I've been in this business, uh, financial services, for many, many years. I did my time in Wall Street in New York for over 20 years. And I've been <clears throat> now on the clients uh, in a variety of aspects from retirement planning, life insurance, um, estate planning. And um, so anyway, just again, wanted to check in, uh, talk about some of the things that have been, this first video is gonna be talking about some of the things that, uh, questions, the four most prevalent questions that have come up. I'm not really involved in the government uh, stimulus program but I understand it and so I've gotten questions about that and uh, various questions that I'll highlight in this video um, not really sure how these videos are going to develop over time but just to give uh, insight into some of the things I'm seeing in the industry and then <clears throat> talk about things you may want to uh, to understand or learn about and so feel free to comment um, in the uh, in the comment section below and I'll also provide links to some of the more relevant pertinent uh, topics such as I'll be uh, talking about today so anyway let's get started one of the first questions uh, very early on was whether you should invest in this time now I've been on this planet for some time and I've seen the market do its thing I've seen tech bubbles, I've seen terrorist situations, um, I've seen mark, uh, real estate market and um, the shutting of a Fortune 100 company and their effects on the market. Um, again, I'm no expert uh, based on experience, but the old adage, buy low and sell high, I think applies here. I think it's a good time um, but with one exception or with with a caveat if there's no savings if uh, I mean what were you doing before COVID right what were you doing before in your investing strategy and um, yeah the market's at a discount that in many in many ways it's a good time to uh, to invest if there's excess cash if you're struggling to make your mortgage payment your car payment uh, your necessities putting food on the table then probably not a good time to, to, to be investing in the market. Just giving straight talk if, uh, as you know, I do. If, um, if there's no excess cash, then maybe not a time. But if there is, I would definitely think it'd be a good time. <clears throat> and some of my clients have been following suit, investing more in their mutual funds um, and taking advantage of, uh, of uh, a discount, basically, in the market. Um, 
The other question I've been asked a lot and sort of in tandem with, with investing is uh, should I withdraw from my 401 or my IRA or my uh, some retirement 403B account? And if you're suffering from the um, coronavirus uh, from a financial perspective, it will allow you to take up to 100000 of your retirement money. Um, you won't pay the taxes on that and you won't be levied the 10% early penalty if you're, you're less than 59 and a half and taken out from a retirement account um, as long as you pay that back within three years. And in my opinion, it's better if you do that as opposed to just putting things on your credit card. So borrow from yourself, pay that back, and I think that'll be a, a wiser choice if, um, if you have that opportunity. Um, PPP, <laughs> the Paycheck Protection Program. This is a program that was uh, recently passed, uh, an act, um, part of the, the law, I guess the largest stimulus program. Um, small businesses can, well, when we say small under 500 employees, can uh, take out an SBA loan, basically small business administration loan. Um, and I know there's been some, some issues, uh, the, the, the funds have run out, um, basically, if you're a business and you did put an application with the bank and in, basic, and in best case scenarios, work with the bank where you have your, your business account, your checking account, where you're drawing your funds from, uh, from your business and uh, have them uh, put the application in with them and have them work on your loan. And then you have to get what's called a federal loan number. Um, if you don't have that, then the next tranche or the next um, issue of this of this bill which is being proposed I believe we're supposed to hear about it this week um, you may fall into that category at any rate that will allow businesses to continue the um, paying your employees uh, I believe it's for up to six months if, if anyone has any more information please feel free to comment um, and those loans will be forgiven um, you just have to make sure you keep the same headcount as you did on February 15th uh, I understand that was one of the pertinent points. And lastly, the stimulus check. Uh, I've been asked if uh, that's going to be taxed uh, next year or offset to whatever tax refund you may receive. And the short answer is no. And the longer answer is it's free money. Uh, I don't say that often, but when there is free money, take advantage of it. And if you qualify, certainly have everything ready. I believe uh, if you have any 2019, didn't have your 2019 taxes done, make sure your 2018 taxes are completed. And then um, uh, you'll be free and clear from any taxes from that stimulus check that it goes, goes from anywhere from 1200 to a max of 3400, I believe, uh, a married couple with uh, children, I think two or three children. So um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to, again, check in I know these are very rough times for many people. On a personal note, um, most of my family is in New York, so that's been a hotbed. It's been very concerning for me. My oldest daughter is a, is a nurse in New York. Um, she just graduated last year, so this was her first um, go, her first year, first experience. A tremendous experience for her, and uh, thank God she's safe, and uh, I'm sure she'll be con continue to be safe. Um, and just checking in with family from around the world, uh, my clients as well around the country. There's a lot of programs and applications out there that you can download and use. And, uh, our company adopted Zoom. That's been working great, but I have uh, FaceTime, I have Web WebEx I use as well. There's, there's many ways to connect. Uh, keep busy, uh, work on those projects like this was one of mine. and. Uh, also, disconnect from the from the from the TV from the news is something that I've tried to do. Uh, whatever you guys have been doing, I'd love to know how you're how you're dealing with this situation. Um, and that's pretty much it. And again, it's been 30 days, um, and we'll we'll get through this. I know we will. And we just gotta you know trust and believe in that. Uh, We'll, we've gone through these things before, uh, not at this level, I think, not in my lifetime, but we'll get through it. And just, um, again, whatever I can give information on from a financial perspective, I'd be more than happy to, to share. Anyway, I'm over my time. Uh, thanks for listening in, and I will um, be checking in from time to time.
Be safe, everyone. Bye-bye.